Garden Fairies by Philip Burke Marston Read for LibriVox.org by Val Grimm Keen was the air, the sky was very light, Soft with shed snow my garden was, and white, And walking there I heard upon the night Sudden sound of little voices, Just the prettiest of noises. It was the strangest, subtlest, sweetest sound, It seemed above me, seemed upon the ground, Then swiftly seemed eddy round and round, Till I said, Tonight the air is surely full of garden fairies. And all at once it seemed I grew aware That little shining presences were there, White shapes and red shapes danced upon the air, Then a peal of silver laughter, and such singing followed after as none of you, I think, have ever heard. More soft it was than call of any bird, note after note exquisitely deferred, soft as dewdrops when they settle in a fair flower's open petal. What are these fairies to myself? I said. For answer then, as from a garden's bed, on the cold air a sudden scent was shed. Scent of lilies, scent of roses, scent of summer's sweetest posies. And said a small, sweet voice within my ear, We flowers that sleep through winter once a year Are by our flower queen sent to visit here, That this fact may duly flout us, Gardens can look fair without us. A very little time we have to play, Then must we go, oh, very far away, and sleep again for many a long, long day, till the glad birds sing above us, and the warm sun comes to love us. Hark what the roses sing now as we go, then very sweet and soft and very low, a dream of sound across the garden snow, came the chime of roses singing, to the lily bells faint ringing. Roses Song Softly sinking through the snow, to our winter rest we go, Underneath the snow to house, till the birds be in the boughs, And the boughs with leaves be fair, and the sun shine everywhere. Softly through the snow we settle, little snowdrops press each petal. Oh, the snow is kind and white, soft it is, and very light. Soon we shall be where no light is, but where sleep is and where night is, sleep of every wind unshaken, till our summer bids us waken. Then towards some far-off goal that singing drew, then altogether ceased, more steely blue, the blue stars shone, but in my spirit grew hope of summer, love of roses, certainty that sorrow closes. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.